Hey everybody, I don't know if you can see me so well, I'm recording from my phone. Um, I just went and bought groceries and I kind of want to show you guys, woo, kind of just want to show you guys what getting healthy groceries looks like if you want to make sure you're staying on top of things and staying healthy. I got a few little secrets. Um, not really secrets. If you go to Aldi's store, you can find these things there. I think some of the things you can actually find at Walmart, but Aldi's has its specific brands. Millville's one. Um, uh, uh, Fit and Active is another, and there's there's different ones. Uh, Simply Nature is another great brand they have. Um, uh, one thing I really like is these are called, if I can get it in shot, let me try to get it where you can see it. Ah! They are airtight. <laughs> okay, these, well, there we go, sandwich skinnies. They are 100 calories per little sandwich biscuit. You get six per package um has that little health bar right there look at that not too bad and it's not 100 calories um for a slice it's 100 calories for a whole biscuit these are whole grain very good for you got your fiber in there um so you can get um something i like to buy sorry it's like everywhere <laughs> uh this right here i love ground turkey it's pure ground turkey ready to cook Look at that, 17 grams of protein per serving. Not bad, the fat content's not too bad either. You see that? So, pretty good there. All right, something else I like to get. Um, you get all my frozen veggies here. I have a ton. I have four bags of green beans, four, five bags of the California uh, veggie medley. Um, different stuff, something I'm gonna try and actually show you how to cook is flounder this is another thing i get at aldi's i really like their fish not a big fan of herring but i like their found flounder their tilapia and their pink salmon those are things i'm going to show you guys how to cook in some other videos if you don't like drinking water all the time you're a big fan of soda make sure you're sticking with diet but if you want something a little bit different and you like to buy bottled water i like to get these raspberry lemonade look at that and when it says low calorie that low not bad at all you got all that in there i've got raspberry lemonade and um the iced tea with lemon i really love those um something else oldies has not a bad price on this big bottle extra virgin olive oil just to give you an idea that's not too bad in there something i also like to buy and this is something i've seen for the first time is olive oil cooking spray and calorie free so that's fun to cook with something if you like sweeteners um this is a really really low fat low sugar um sweetener of agave nectar not bad again just a second i think my daughter's into something what are you doing you're still in my straws again no ma'am thank you i prefer it in the cup <laughs> No. Here. Have a sock. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> All right. Um, so you have a look at my table. I have lots of broccoli. Um, and this is a lot cheaper way to do your um, steamed veggies. What I do, I cut it up, get rid of all, not most of the stem, but as much as I can of it. I put it in Ziploc bags that are freezer safe, which are also microwave safe, as long as you don't cook them too long. Put a little bit of water in there, put a little bit of my cooking spray I use in there, a little bit of salt, steam them in the microwave. That's another good source of protein, something a little bit on the go. Grab you a handful of nuts, it's a good little snack, only 200 calories. No man, you better leave that alone. Um, my banana stockpile, we are banana freaks in this house. We love our bananas. Kristen, get down from there. Um, pears, I've got apples, mangoes. Um, I always forget what these are called. Oh, wow. I don't know. They're good. Um, can't remember what they are. They're... Ah! They're kind of like cuties, but they're not. Get down. It's another form of citrus that I am obviously not able to remember the name of. 
like these. You can freeze this unlike your regular lettuce, which once you bring it out, it gets really soggy and gross. Once you freeze this, you can throw it in with a little bit of rice, throw it in with some veggies as you simmer them. Yeah, it's a nice little additive. It gives good flavor. It's not like your canned spinach either. It's not going to taste like that. This is fresh. has a nice texture. You can eat it raw just as it is. I personally love it, and like it says, great for salads or cooking. Um, let's see, something else. Of course, got my kiwis you can see in there. Um, something else that uh, Aldi's has. Natural creamy peanut butter. Now, this isn't like your oil mix. No, it's not as high calorie, but pretty close. But the difference is, is your calories from fat is lower. I'll give you an idea. In just a second. This is our regular peanut butter. This is my husband's and daughter's. See this? 180 calories, 2 tablespoons, um, 15 grams of fat total, 2.5 from the saturated uh, dietary fiber, 2 grams sugars, 3 grams protein, 7 grams. Let's see if I did good here. So our fat, actually, let me look back at that. Give me just a second. I was looking at the wrong thing. Saturated fat saturated fat a little bit more saturated fat but do, you gotta really look at what your fats are and learn about those learn the difference between trans fat saturated fat and sugars because most people think sugar oh that's fat no there's a little bit of difference there um this has eight carbs seven grams of protein what's the carb in this Ooh, i'm not seeing it carbs carbs yeah so i mean realistically these are almost the same um let me see the sugar is three grams well I think I may be fooling myself here with this <laughs> made with 90% peanuts does this have anything like that on it mm, see here we got this right here this is the difference in something that says it's natural and healthy same brand same peanut butter no difference. No difference. It's telling you it's, it's natural probably because it comes from just natural peanuts. And this has probably ingredients in it that isn't just peanuts. But a nice thing about this brand is gluten-free, lactose-free. And I believe this, it's not saying the same. Uh -huh. It doesn't say that at all, huh? Yep. Oh, yeah, it does. Right there. Right there. So... See, this is one of those little tricky things. Bought a smaller size of this jar, paid a little bit more for it when I could have bought same size of jar of the regular, same nutritional facts. I got tricked right here. That's bogus. Um, can, canned veggies. I love my asparagus. A lot of people are like, canned asparagus. You pull it out, it's just going to be really mushy. No, be very careful with it. Open it up. Slide it out of the can into your pan. Simmer in for a little bit. You don't have to add a lot of oil, a lot of water. Drain off the excess water too. And you can get them to where they're browned a little bit. And they're really yummy. I have to have my mushrooms. I love canned mushrooms. There's a little bit better value in canned mushrooms. Because the amount... Daughter's got the straws again. I'm going to kick your little hiney. But there is a little bit of a difference in price and quantity when you're buying canned versus... Um, mushrooms that you get in the packages that are like these which i have my strawberries avocados and um, for a about three week supply of groceries i only have two avocados i will share those with my daughter healthy fat but that's a lot of fat there be careful with that i got my zucchini i'm gonna show you guys how to use um zucchini instead of noodles and also make a uh, zucchini pizza and make a zucchini uh lasagna and it's really good very healthy. You're cutting out the carbs there. Um, you got my cucumbers. Oh, you can do the same thing with cucumbers. Um, like my Asian dish, I posted a video for. Video for um, uh, do the same thing for for it instead of rice. You can do your veggies. Um, this is something I get my daughter because why? It's a little bit healthier. Calories per package is 45 calories per package of fruit. Not loaded with sugar. Um, something I like to have on the go. Fit and Active brand. This is something I haven't tried before is their strawberry protein bars. I typically like their uh, chocolate peanut butter. And how many? Well, it's not telling me the amount of protein. But there's your little bar right there. So, kind of high in sugar, but there's a little bar on the go. And then again, here we go. Protein meal bar. 
It's not, oh, well, there's my protein. 10 grams of protein. Uh, this has one gram less of protein than the peanut butter chocolate ones. Um, then again, I got other stuff that's for my daughter and my husband. This little snack bars. Um, these aren't breakfast in our house. These are snack bars. This is like the candy bar in our house. Um, I have my butter spray for popcorn too. Not bad. That's calorie free. Doing good there. I like to make my popcorn fresh with this nifty little machine. Um, anything else? Oh, and the bread I was talking to you guys about before, right here. This is my 45 calories, 45 per slice. So for a sandwich, you got 90 calories in there, 10 calories less than this, but these are nice for on the go making your burgers. No, they're not big and fluffy, but they do the job for a burger. Really good idea for a burger, make your turkey patties, use a little bit of your spinach leaves instead of regular lettuce, add you a tomato on there, a little bit of onion, use these, you got a nice healthy little burger right there. Um, Oh, what else do I have? Um, and I didn't show you guys before, but this is my coconut oil I use. My husband don't really care for the coconut flavor in it. This is all natural, Louisiana pure coconut oil. Right there, non-hydrogenated coconut oils and non-GMO derived food. Big thing for me right there. When that says that, that means a lot to me. Um, right here, great for baking, cooking, and popping corn. Oh, yes, it is very good. <laughs> Very good. And you can replace it for your shortening and a lot of things. And it says it will burn if overheated. Um, do not use for deep frying. Yeah, you don't want to deep fry stuff in this. Um, uh, there's your instructions on that. And yeah, I use this um, as a lotion on my body sometimes. It just depends on how bad my eczema is and if my and cream isn't cutting it. Olive oil, not olive oil, coconut oil has a lot of uses. I prefer... The brand you get at GNC that has the coconut flavor in it, especially if I'm going to cook shrimp. But those are things I like. Um, stevia. I love my stevia. Yeah, this says this is natural calorie-free sweetener. Stevia comes from a plant and is actually chemically produced with... Um, chemically produced with... Oh, what is it used to make? Like when you make alcohol. Um, ethanol. If I, I think I have that completely wrong, but <laughs> yeah, I, I do like stevia. I know how it's produced, but I, I got to have my sugar. This is a lot better than having something that is entirely chemically produced like your other calorie-free sweeteners. Um, got my green tea. Like my green tea. This is 100% natural. Something if you get an upset tummy, give it to my daughter all the time. If she's being fussy, definitely a calming tea. And there's lots of other teas out there. I really love this German brand of tea. I don't like my tea green teas, like, really, really, really strong. Same as my black tea. Like, you almost need a spoon to eat it because it'll be thick. But this, you want to go kind of light on. Really strong flavor. Um, and, of course, my regular tea. I love, love, love teas. Um... Anything else I can think of before I'm done with this? I don't want to make this video go too long. Um, uh, let's see here. Got my cheeses. Um, this is a, well, this is actually my sandwich tour too. Got turkey breast in here. Now the calories on this. Let me get it to where it's in better view. Bam, right there. Three slices are only 70 calories. That is not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. Um, this is a brand from Aldi's. 98% fat-free turkey breast. I know the calorie is a little bit, I think, higher in this one. No. One slice is 30 calories, and those are pretty thick slices, so not bad. Folded over on a sandwich. Very yummy. My fit and active cheese, sharp cheddar, 2% milk. Ooh, goodness, what's going on here? Ooh, goodness. What happened? Well, it must not hurt that bad. <laughs> People probably think I'm mean. I'm not mean. I just know how to make her happy. A little snack for me and my daughter. I do love to cook with these. There you go, low fat. These are fully cooked. Pull them out of the package, eat them. Calories, again, not too bad. Ooh, this child. Good grief, girl. What's going on with you? Fit and active 2% cheese. Love this stuff. Calories not too bad. 
fourth a cup, not bad at all. That's a good serving size. Um, of course, I got more string cheese in here, light string cheese. And my string cheese is 50 calories per serving for each. This is my Fit and Active brand. The other is Sargento. And preferably, I like the taste of Sargento. Um, my Asian food secret, right here. Stone Meal, Aldi's brand. Love it. Okay, um, got my uh, cauliflower. I like to boil it. All that because you couldn't get this toy open? Are you serious? She's literally like her mom. Um, <laughs> but what I like to do, boil this, mash it up, make mashed potatoes. And yeah, it's going to have a little bit of carb just like your regular mashed potato. But you're cutting out the fat. You're cutting out... Um, you know, box mashed, honestly, I hate box mashed potatoes. If I absolutely want mashed potatoes, I will use my regular potatoes I have. Sorry about all my mess on the table. I'm kind of getting stuff cleaned up for grocery day. Um, but that's basically all I have on here. Um, and that was my groceries I got. If there's anything else I think I can remember. Um, I don't have any red meat in my freezer at all. But I do have a lot, I do have a lot of vegetables. I made sure I got a lot this time because I ran kind of short last time. Um, something really cool that I'll give you a little tip on too. Um, see my massive stockpile of little lunch prep boxes? Two-sided, yeah. I love to prep my food at the beginning of the week so I have all my lunches done, everything like that. Um, predominantly, this is veggies, little side of whatever carb we're going to have, rice, if I'm going to have a carb, and then I do my meat over here, predominantly veggies. That's how I do it. It's a good way to go buy it. You get really full off that, and when you're doing a little more veggies than anything, you can pile, you can, you can massively pack this thing and <laughs> get really full off that. Um, if there's any advice on supplements I like to take, um, I do take HydroxyCut. Not because it helps me lose weight, but because it gives me the energy I need on days I really need that push through my workout. Um, yep, that is my multivitamin. We really love this stuff. It's got great amounts of uh, uh, vitamin B12 uh, complex. Not the greatest brand of protein, but it's cheap. You can get it at Walmart. 9.88, 20 grams of protein. Um, the difference is between this and a higher grade of protein is the amount of sugar in it. That's quite a bit of sugar in there, as you can see. That's a lot of sugar for just one little meal. Um, anything else? I do take Mega Red Krill Oil. I like it better than fish oil. It doesn't have a nasty flavor, and you don't get really fishy-tasting burps that come back up. Um, my supplement that I have... Love to take this stuff. This is a, this isn't the most awesome appetite curb, curber I have ever had. It, I have to really watch myself because if I do take it twice a day, I can go almost all day without eating a thing. So, just look into it. Make sure everything that I tell you about supplements, get it approved, get it approved by your doctor before you take it. Oh my goodness, did it close again? Little girl, you gotta learn to open this. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Good job. You did it. Um, anything else I can think of? I have a lot of stuff in here I know I'm not supposed to have, but I know now to... Woo. Phone was updating me. <laughs> Felt it vibrate in my hand. Um, this is a really, really yummy thing. Just, it says it's super spicy. I get heartburn. I can, like, lick peanut butter off a spoon just a tiny bit and got heartburn chocolate gives me heartburn um thinking about foods i like give me heartburn it's that bad <laughs> but this is a nice little snack you can get 10 crackers out of this 110 calories 10 calories over 100 calories so if you like into your 100 calorie snacks that's not going too far over your sugar's you know low your protein for a, that little amount of snack is kind of high so a yummy little thing to have i like this stuff um it's kind of empty too. I should have got some more. Anything else I can think of? Um, oh yeah, that's one. Uh, for my cereal, I do like Millville's little version of uh, multi-grain Cheerios. 
Um, like it says, 100 calories if you go with your portions. If you're having regular milk, or it says with skim milk. So that's basically a jug of water with a few tablespoons of regular milk put in it, in my opinion. Which is why I like my nut milk. I can get it to where it's fat free and 30 calories per serving. Um, that was what I was going to show you guys. I uh, found this at Aldi's. This is one of their brands, low fat. They actually have a one that's a honey granola. And it was higher in calorie, higher in fat, and higher in sugar. So, 250 calories with a cup of milk, preferably. I would just grab a little bit out of this and snack on it. Maybe mix it with some almonds. Just a tiny bit of almonds and eat that. Really like that. And that's really, um, most of my groceries I bought, you don't see that I bought a lot of things that are out of the box. I like to cook my food fresh. It's cheaper that way. Um, it's, it's just how I prefer it. If there's anything else, too, I can think of. Um, Fit and Active has their own brand of instant brown rice. And a serving size. Where'd that go? <laughs> My serving size. Uh, 130 cup, 150 calories. Really? That's not that bad. You just, like, limit your carbs. You don't have to have a ton of carbs. Load up with the veggies. Load up with veggies you like. People say, oh, you need a variety of vegetables. Yeah, you need a variety. But if there's certain veggies you like, it's probably a lot better for you to be eating a ton of veggies versus a ton of carbs, a lot of noodles, rice, all that stuff. I do heavy regular rice. I have black beans. Cabinet's kind of messy. Um, just leftover veggies I don't use. I that is this is liquid, and it's not. It's I like it. It's really good just to put on stuff. Um, 35 calories per packet glaze your meat with it yummy cook it like that something else i have been in love with for years since i discovered it is couscous i like falafel too um i know i keep finding things to like put on here my chicken bouillon five calories a cube not bad at all i can use about five cubes on a whole meal for a me, my daughter, and my husband, and that's really about serving three people because my daughter eats like an adult. <laughs> so, I mean, that just gives you a good idea of all the ingredients I cook with. Um, I, like I said, I like to cook fresh. I know it seems like, you know, a whole lot of vegetables, vegetables, blah. But if you notice something on my table here, I have a variety. But what do you see the color most of? Green. Green is probably the healthiest veggies you should be eating. It's going to be the lowest calorie, the lowest carb. Um, just really healthy. One thing I kind of missed out on, I wish I would have actually picked up some yams to cook with. Not not yams, good grief. Um, the opposite of zucchini, squash. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Um, if there's anything else. Um... I guess that's kind of it. So I went over everything I have. I absolutely hate this stuff. My daughter loves it. I'll cook with it, but that's one thing I like. I'll take the leaves off and actually uh, mince them up and, and use them as a seasoning and stuff. I like that. Uh, um, any other seasonings I may use? Or... I know I have my minced garlic. I love garlic cloves. I'm cracking them and using them in my foods. They're really good. Do you want to say hi, Hope? Say hi. A little tail wag, something. You say hi. Nothing. You sit down. Not listening at all. Okay. Let's see how it is. <laughs> um, but I mean that's that's basically my grocery list, and that's how I like to eat. That's how my family eats. Uh, my husband is a fast food junkie. I'll tell you that. So <laughs> he, you know, eats how he wants, and I cook stuff here at the house, and. I try to make it to its things he enjoys and, you know, a little personal advice if, you know, if your spouse isn't into the healthy food and they're not the one cooking, they don't have to know that everything's healthy. Just keep it to yourself and if they enjoy it, let it be. <laughs> I don't know, my husband has this idea sometimes when I tell him, oh, it's healthy, he's like, oh, oh, what are we eating? Because <laughs> I do like to try new things, so, I mean, you just go with things like that. That's my grocery list. These groceries actually will probably get us through in about three weeks. But, and you wouldn't think, oh, well, you know, that's not a lot, but that's, I, that's what I like. This is how we eat. It is quite a bit. Like I said, my freezer is really stuffed to the brim with stuff, but that makes me like crazy. Um, but that's it. Oh my goodness. Did you close it again? <gasps> Uh-oh. Mama dropped it. I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna get it. That's not a very nice attitude you have. If you want something, you have to be nice. <gasps> there you go. I love Sorry I cut the video short there. Um, I kind of married out of memory on my phone. But I just wanted to finish up on where I was at. Those are all the things that I typically use. That's what I buy in my groceries. That gets me, my daughter, and my husband. Three people eating a day through about three weeks. Didn't spend, but... Um, Oh, 180. Not too bad on my groceries. Um, here, here. Uh, later, I'll get some videos out on different things I cook for the things I like to make and talk about things I snack on. My daughter's right there talking. <laughs> you say hi again. Hi. <laughs> hey. Woo! Mama got hit in the head by this. <laughs> but those are the things I do and um, if you have any questions just comment them below and I'll get back to you and that's it you have a great day bye